Hey fourth grade, I am here from my house and I thought I would tell you guys that I miss you guys so much. I wish I could teach you every day. It's been a little boring at home, so I wish I was at school and seeing all you guys. But I do have a little mini lesson for you guys today. All you need is a cup. I know we are in the middle of our bucket drumming lesson and ugh, I'm so upset that we're missing that right now, but I did find something fun with a cup. So if you guys have a cup at home, preferably a, um, this is like a paper coffee cup, but like a plastic cup, something like that with no, <laughs> nothing in it, um, clean and nothing that could break. So please not a glass cup because we're going to be using it as an instrument. So please don't use a cup that could break because that will end badly. Um, hold on, where am I doing? So we're gonna do some cup rhythms today and then I have a little game for us to end on, a little competition, something like that. So once you have your cup, if you need to pause it and come back, please do that. Once you have that, we're going to be talking about some rhythms. Let's see where I am. So today we're going to focus on um, simple rhythms that we already know. So quarter note, and if you don't remember what that looks like, it's this one. Half note. This one. Whoop, that one. And maybe some eighth notes, which could look one of two ways, if there's one or if there's two. So eighth note or a pair of eighth notes, ta, ta, tati. It's just one of the tati. Okay. So those are the rhythms that we're going to be focusing on today. It's gonna be tricky because you can play a cup a few different ways, but we'll get into that. So when you play it, you wanna put your hand on the side so you can pick it up easy and put it down. Your other hand could be a tapping hand. So I write with my right hand, so I'm gonna have it in my right hand. Whatever feels more comfortable to you. So that's that. Okay, so just for reminder, let's play four quarter notes, four times. So first time we are going to play, we are going to play this way. So like ta is going to be your sound. Like one, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 again, ta, ta, ta. Last time, ta, 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 ta. That is one way you can play it. Um, Another way, and these, it actually, in the music that I'm looking at, has symbols, which I'll show you guys in a second, on it, like, um, a circle underneath means, like, on the table, and it has other meanings, too. So let's just try the different ways. This time, you're going to hold and tap. Ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Just showing you, I know you guys are, like, rhythm masters, so this is too easy, but... That's one way, and then side. Ta 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 ta. So, what makes it hard is when you switch. So it'd be like two on the table and the two on the side. So listen first, and then try. Ta 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 ta. There you go. And you can come up with your own too, and send me videos if you would like. Stuff like that. It's all up to you. You guys are so creative when it comes to rhythms that I think you will come up with something better than I will come up with. All right, so let me see here. Again, so if you see this below a note, it's gonna be table. So if you see a little circle under the note, that means table. If you see an X above the note, that means tap. Let's 
see if there's any more that we need to worry about. Not at the moment. Oh, this one. I don't even know how to draw that. I'm just gonna draw a star. There's a star above that you're actually going to, on your head, bonk your head. Please don't hit yourself too hard. I don't wanna hear about people injuring themselves with cups. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna write a rhythm on here and then we're gonna try it. Again, this, we're starting with the simple rhythm. You guys can come up with some more complicated stuff if you would like. Okay, so the first four are gonna be table, then the next four are gonna be taps, last four table, and then the last one is a head bump, which I guess is that what we will call it. So, if I'm playing this, it'll be ta, 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 ta. I hit my head a little harder than I thought I was going to. So you can try that. Let's try that together. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 hit. Cool. All right, let's try another one. All right, this one is in three. So this one was in four. So we talked about this in bucket drumming, but when there's a four, Over your note, it's a four beats in each measure. This time we're gonna do three beats in each measure. So I'm just going to erase one note from each. So it's gonna be a little bit faster. It's gonna feel faster because there's three. It really shouldn't be though. So it will sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. One, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Cool. So the, again, these are pretty simple. So if you're like, Miss Height, why are we doing this? I can do way much more than this. Just the beginning. Which I have a challenge for you guys too, which I'll put the link in below on Dojo for the song Adam's Family, if you guys know that. I haven't actually tried it yet, so maybe I'll embarrass myself and try it for you guys. All right, new rhythm. They put words to this one. Bacon, bacon, I love bacon. Bacon, bacon, what? <laughs> so we can do that as well. Here we go. This one only has two per measure, but it's gonna feel a lot like four. Two, three, four. All right. So this one's a little more complicated, but the rhythm that I just said to you is the rhythm that we're going to be playing. So if it's easier for you to say words, we should say that. It's going to sound like this. Bacon, bacon, I love bacon. Bacon, bacon, what? <laughs> and I feel like I should be saying what after that. Um, try it slow with me now. Bacon, bacon, I love bacon. Bacon, bacon, what? Also, I'm sorry, you should be tapping with the opposite. I've been holding something, so that's why it's like, looks challenging for me. Let's try a little bit faster. Bacon, bacon, I love bacon. Bacon, bacon, 
bacon, but a little bit faster. Bacon, bacon, I love bacon, 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 what? So you can keep going faster or you can listen to the next part. Okay, we're gonna do one more for today and then next video I'll post more for you guys to do. Um, sorry, it's like annoying that I have to keep erasing, but I don't have a different thing for now. <laughs> Back to 4-4. Four, four. There's no words for this one. It looks like we're gonna, oh, it ends on a freeze. So not a head bonk this time, but a freeze. I don't know what to put for that, so I'm gonna put a smiley. Um, and then it says you can freeze in a silly um, way. So this is going to be table, 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 tap, table, 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 tap, table, 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 tap, freeze. Let's try it slow. One, two, ready, go. Table, 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 tap, table, 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 tap, table, 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 tap, freeze. Let's try a little bit faster. One, two, ready, go. Table, 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 tap. Table, 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 tap. Table, 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 tap. Free. Faster, ready, here we go. Table, 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 tap. Table, 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 tap. Table, 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 tap. Freeze. One more time, really fast. One, two, ready, go. Table, 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 tap. Table, 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 tap. Table, 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 tap. Freeze. Awesome. So, again, this is very beginning stuff, but that's okay. Let's do a game of guess the rhythm. So I'm gonna play a rhythm and then you guys are gonna guess which one it is. So I guess I should show you guys the actual rhythms. So you're gonna guess one, two, three, four, four, five. This is hard. I'll hold that here. All right, listen, one, two, listen, go. One, two, three, four, five. Listen again. Ready, listen. Last time, ready, listen, go. So, what is your guess? One, two, three, four, or five. I did <laughs> rhythm five. So, if you guessed five, you're right. Awesome job. Okay, so. The challenge I have for you guys is the Adams Family, and I actually have a song for us to do too. So the Adams Family challenge is this rhythm. It is a passing game. If you don't have a pass, like someone to pass with, that's fine too. Um, so it goes: triple it, Todd. Grab, pass. That is the challenge. I'm not teaching it to you. I want you guys to see if you can do it on your own. I'm gonna put the link in the comments and then if you guys got it, you can send me a video or you can just say, oh my gosh, too hard or I did so well, this was very easy. All right, so the song I'm gonna teach you guys is a little Irish song and it's called Follow the Rainbow. If my computer will turn on. Hello. All right, it's called Follow the Rainbow and I'll just pull it up on here. Um, maybe, no I won't. <laughs> All right, my computer's turning on. Anyway, the rhythm is going to be half note, half note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. We haven't done half note yet, but it's gonna be ta and drag. So it's gonna sound like this. Ta, 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 ta,
ta, ta, ta, ta. That's the rhythm. All right, I'm pulling it up now. You can practice that on your own. Ta, 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 ta. Go ahead and try that. So in this song, it's going to sing Follow the Rainbow, and then it's gonna sing each of the colors of the rainbow, and you've probably learned this before, but um, the rainbow colors, it's called Roy G. Biv. Each one of those letters represents a color on the rainbow. So Roy, R, red, O, orange, yellow, if you write green. On your... There was an ad, sorry. Writing's not that easy, <laughs> but no. What is happening? This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. It undermines the writer's message and the word choice. Okay. <laughs> this is why I teach in a classroom and not at home. <laughs> okay. So, where was I? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So, let's listen to it. Play your cup along with me. song um hopefully next time i will have some more challenging stuff but i think this will hold you guys over until next time i have one more thing for you guys and that is what was starting to play in the middle of the last <laughs> thing we were listening to and it's called guess the musician so you are going to listen to the clues listen to the song and you're going to guess the musician in the comments on dojo if you are allowed to so, your clues are, one, this musician was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. Two, this musician's nickname when he was younger was Little Elvis. Three, this musician performs a bunch of different genres, including pop, reggae, R&B, rock, um, and funk. Four, this musician performed at the 2014 Super Bowl. And your fifth clue is this song. He sings this song. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world. Be the light to 
your last clue so if you know the answer you can comment below um that is all i have for you guys today sorry for my technical difficulties <laughs> during that last performance um i hope to see you guys very soon i miss you guys and one more thing so long farewell to you my friend goodbye for now until we meet again bye guys <laughs>